New documentary launches uphill quest to honor the empire builder. When I routinely rode with my dad to his downtown office in the late 1950s, he drove north along 4th Avenue, looming as we approached the nexus of Olive and Stewart, Seattle's version of Times Square, was an enormous elevated sign featuring a scaffolded Great Northern Mountain Goat atop a showy slogan, Empire Builder. Through the windshield, I and countless others were absorbing a layered message. Empire Builder referenced the passenger train from St. Paul that had crucially connected our city to the rest of the country in 1893, post-Great Fire. The catchphrase also echoed the sobriquet for the railway's indefatigable founder, who helped turn Seattle into a metropolis, yet whose name is little seen or celebrated today. Seasoned West Seattle documentarian Stephen Sadis seeks to change that in a manner as audacious as his subject. His new The Empire Builder, James J. Hill, and the Great Northern Railway is a four-hour tour de force, the result of on-and-off research for 20-plus years, summoning more than 5,000 images, maps, film clips, and dozens of interviews to tell its larger-than-life story. Hill, 1838 to 1916, was a town speculator, agriculturalist, shipping magnate, banker, collector, philanthropist, longtime husband, and the father of ten. But his legacy rides with the iron horse and its inescapable impact, which inspired Sadus's fascination. If I told you, he says, that tomorrow when you wake up you could travel from Seattle to New York in ten minutes, that's the kind of change that occurred in the mid-19th century, from a six-month wagon trek across the country to a four-day train ride. That transformation is the key. Through Hill's saga, Sadus and producing partner Kyle Kegley weave the personal right-eye blindness from a bow and arrow accident as a child with the enterprising, an insistence on fashioning efficient and enduring rail lines, while repeatedly giving voice to the train's displacement of Native Americans. The tale hits a peak with Hill's opening day speech for the 1909 Alaska-Yukon Pacific Exposition at the University of Washington. For an industrialist, the bent is surprising, as bold and prescient as its source. Will you realize, Hill said, what this country will become when stripped of its forests, the washing away of the soil, the inevitable changes in climate when the forests have gone? You have but to raise your eyes and be in the presence of some of the grandest works of God. Soil, climate, resources all favor you. You will never again know isolation. The spaces once separating you from the rest of the country have been conquered. Remain as you have been the architects of your own fortunes. In our first then photo, West-facing, James J. Hill, lower left, near the flag, addresses 20,000 on June 1, 1909, the opening day of Seattle's first World's Fair, the Alaska-Yukon Pacific Exposition, in an amphitheater approximately where the Pedelford Hall parking garage stands today at the University of Washington. In our second then photo, a portrait of Hill from 1902. Quoted in the documentary, Hill says of the Great Northern Line, Most men who have really lived have had, in some shape, their great adventure. This railway is mine. In our third then photo, this northbound view on 4th Avenue on November 2, 1953, shows the Great Northern Railway sign, with its Mountain Goat and Empire Builder slogan at the juncture of Olive Way and Stewart Street. In South Seattle, the former name of today's Martin Luther King Jr. Way was Empire Way in Hill's honor. Today, Stephen Sadus 
Wright, and Kyle Kegley of Sadus Filmworks stand next to the James J. Hill bust and engraved railroad panel outside Moore Hall at the University of Washington. No plaque exists nearby to explain the stature of the Canadian-born Minnesota-based hill. The bust's base originally was taller when it was unveiled August 2, 1909, during the Alaska-Yukon Pacific Exposition at a nearby site west of today's Drumheller Fountain on the UW campus. <laughs>